Ladies. <clears throat> ladies, ladies, I'm here on the show. And I'm here on the show to talk about some uh, NASCAR news, episode 12. Uh, just two really big things I want to talk about today. Kyle Busch's announcement that um, he talked about today. And Jeremy Clements, their appeal. Um, that they won the L2 penalty. So we're gonna, that's some stuff we're going to go over. So all that. So those two things coming up next. So Kyle Busch is going to be moving to Richard Childress Racing in, the, in 2023. He announced today he'll be pilot, piloting the number 8 car. And here's uh, some details uh, from some tweets. to get to it. Alright, so interesting little note is um uh Richard Childers has handed Brexton Bush an option to drive for his organization in the future, which is a uh, pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. Um Kyle Bush also said um Richard Childers or before that says they still have a contract with Tyler Reddick and they spoke with Rick before this announcement. So they spoke with Tyler Reddick, and maybe they'll get a third charter. Don't know where to have Reddick drive a third RCR car. And Kyle Busch said this move was a no-brainer, and that he feels he can win races and a championship out of the gate with RCR. Um, he also Richard Chelter says the RCR will have three charters in 2023, and that. Tyler, Tyler Reddick will drive for them. My question is, what, where will they get that third charter? Uh, Cabo says that KBM is not a part of this news yet, but he's working with Chevrolet on that. So it's pretty much clear Chevrolet's going to move to, um, or KBM's going to move to Chevrolet uh, next year with Kyle Busch making this move. Uh, he, can, he also confirmed it was a multi-year deal. So this is some of the tweets, uh, some of the comments RCR, Richard Childress made, and Kyle Bush. So some notes that Brexton Bush also has a, they're going to maybe have him in the organization in the future, which is cool. Uh, we'll see what sponsorship Kyle Bush will have for the number 8 car. I'd imagine, imagine it's some good sponsorship. Um, we already know it's a multi-year deal. And we'll, and another thing I want to know is what, what, what's Tyler Reddick going to do? Like, what, what? What car? What charter will they get? Like, what, what charter are they gonna get? What what team are they gonna get from? That's what I'm trying to get. Here. So yeah, but I leave you guys thoughts on Kyle Busch going to RCR. What do you think he'll he'll, he'll uh, win races? Maybe a championship? Maybe we'll see. But Jeremy Clements won uh, won his appeal against a L2 penalty at Daytona. Uh, Clements' victory at Daytona will now camp towards the 2022 playoffs, and all penalties have been resigned. And this is massive, massive news for Jeremy Clements and that race team. After winning Daytona, celebrating again that penalty, L2 penalty, they appeal, they win, they appeal. And what does this mean? And what does it mean? And it means he clinches the spot for the playoffs. Her, Herb slash Mayer clinches unaffected. Hamrick is plus 37 but above the cut line, and Castle plus 19. That means round C will be minus 19 and Creed minus 32 going into the next race at Bristol. Um, I believe. Brown, Alfredo, Snyder, Burton, they can only clinch with a win, so they only have to make it as clinching with a win. Um, so, what the penalty, what it means for the owners playoffs the 51's in the playoffs p20 on owner points plus 11 on p21 uh, the one the 18 and the 98 clinches unaffected 11 plus 18 10 minus 18 number 2 minus 50 number 39 minus 51 02 23 26 48 and 68 could clinch with a w the number 36 and 07 cards can clinch with a w if top 20 and owners points so that's what it means for the overall playoff standings and for the owners playoffs so this is just big news today. Some big news. Uh, Clemens is now in the playoffs and Kyle Busch going RCR. What do you guys think about the NASCAR news? So until next time, have fun. Peace.